Women can be a drug. Why is that? Listen, I think women are a beautiful thing. I, I honestly do. I really do. And the reason I made this thing, you know, that women can be a drug. I was going to put that women are a drug, but women are the drug. I'm saying they can be a drug. And here's what I mean at this point. I'm not even talking about attractive women like we're seeing here. Plus, like I said before, I don't know if these women are attractive, if it's just the makeup. I guess it doesn't really matter. But what I am trying to say is that when it comes to, uh, man, 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 even even women who are average looking women who are just you know living their life not doing anything too crazy they are still hard to not want to really get into man i i remember when i was growing up and this will tie into what i'm trying to say today i remember growing up when we just you know we just had myspace and even when we had chats you know we just got on uh what was it uh aol <laughs> aol man um and I remember how addictive it was when I was online looking at MySpace and stuff, and I wasn't even seeing any women. All you would see is something they said. All you would see is just their profile picture. You see their pictures that they may have put up or the pictures they had in their what, whatever the thing they used to have on MySpace. You could just see a few of their pictures. I remember just, man, I remember just being just like infatuated with women to the point where it was like crazy, man. And I think what has happened now, even more, that makes women so coveted. It's because women have now become so um, accustomed to having so many men in their DMs and having so, having so many men talk to them. And I think it's to the point where men, you it feels like most women don't even want to give you a chance. If you don't come correct, you can't come at all. And I think there is some good to that. But there are also some bad that has now become with that. Because when you used to be able to come to a woman, you used to be able to, you know, just be the average brother. You know, if you just had a car, you know, you just had some things together. It was enough. And I, you know what is starting to bother me more? It's just even the women I see now and uh, the women I see even on, I, I'm a YouTuber, so I, I watch a lot of YouTube um when i see women on youtube and they talk about how they don't have a man or they don't uh they're not married or they don't date or blah 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 and they always talk about they need to make they need to get a man who is a king they need to get a man who knows how to take care of a woman they need to get a man who does this and does that and the problem i've been seeing with that is that it's because you're turning down every single person you see you know what i mean you turn it down every guy because he doesn't look a certain way or he doesn't have a certain thing or you're looking for a certain guy who's uh not necessarily a bad guy but you're looking for a man who is who doesn't really have all the time for you but when he does make time to you it feels special and i understand that I, I just think that we're really just getting to this point where i think everybody wants it all and i think even in this is why i do get on the men if y'all watch my last video i got on the men and the women but this one i want to get on uh just the younger women who are now turning into these older cougars uh, stupid stuff um, what we're seeing now is more women are <sighs> they think that they're really right in the way they think they think they're saying oh i'm so pretty i'm so this i'm just waiting for the right man to come along and it's like you want it all and you want to you want to eat your cake too right you can't have it all and eat your cake too you can't have a guy who's also super tall also super rich also um super affectionate also he he's not too affectionate also he gives you enough tension but not enough attention He's the, he could take you on vacation at any moment you want to, but he's also a hard worker. So he doesn't also have the time for you. Like you can't have it all. You can't expect a man to be super rich, super good looking, and then have all the time in the world to spend with you. I think that's a problem that's going to be going on. And I don't think that's maybe just a woman thing. I think that's, uh, that's a, my generation thing. We kind of started growing up in this, this fantasy of we can have it. We can, we can, <laughs> Our life is supposed to be a vacation every day. We're supposed to go on trips every weekend or every month. And we're supposed to be able to go to Vegas, supposed to be able to go to Miami, supposed to be able to do all this stuff every single day and all the time. And so it's like, don't you know that kind of stuff costs money? And so women are just be like, oh, well, I can get a sugar daddy or I can do all this. But then they also want a boyfriend who makes enough money that can take them on vacation, but also has time to take them shopping every night. And I, I just think that's too unrealistic and if you say that to them you know when i've talked to women even not women that look anything like this i'm talking about women who are average when i've told women like that it's like how do you expect somebody to work all the time and also have the time to take you on vacation and everything and all that how do you expect them to have all this kind of money but also have no worth ethic at all like what do you what do you like can you name a job that you don't have to go to all the time or a job where you can make six figures and not go to work ever like you literally just 
live and breathe like do you really think money can really just go into investments like that you can just go throw money into some crypto and money just gonna be stacking like that and like if that's the case like how do you like how do you really think the world revolves do you think most people most men are gonna make money like that they just throw some money in investment and get lucky you know what i mean that's not what happens so how if a person who's making six figures they're gonna have to work it's impossible for you to say oh i just want a man who could take me out at any time or do all this extra stuff it's like that's not possible you can't have your cake and eat it too you can't go out there and say oh man i want to go out and do all these things and but he's also got to be super tall you know, I, I have a friend you know who talks about this and she's a single mother of four four kids she's one she's a wonderful woman very nice actually but she got and she'll admit to this so i'm not getting on her but she admitted this to me you know these four kids that she got first relationship didn't work out happens but the second relationship she you know she had another kid and she literally got with the guy just because he was tall the guy literally got with her smashed her <laughs> got her pregnant and got another girl pregnant at the exact same time like they got pregnant within the same time frame it's like that's the kind of stuff i'm talking about it's like why do you want to have it all like like i'm not knocking tall guys all i'm saying is like why do you feel like you can go out there and sell go out there and put your body on the line and then expect the guy to just like you if a guy can get money and he's tall and he's beautiful guess what a lot of women are going to be attracted to him and women think that just because they exist they can simply get any man they want and you just can't you can't have it all baby i'm sorry that's a lesson we all gotta learn <laughs> if if that's just what i always say baby if you want him every woman wants him that's not normal you know what i mean that's not unless you go after the average guy then yeah then maybe some women don't want him but if you're going for the best looking guy baby i'm sorry to tell you look me in my eyes everybody's gonna want him everybody okay so so uh, the, i know i just did a whole work around but my i was getting back to my point of men this is why women can be a drug you get a little sniff <laughs> you get a little puff they give you a little bit of attention and you just fall in love you just fall in love i was reading an article the other day if y'all saw it i posted it on twitter i put it on twitter where it talks about how guys are falling in love with a fake persona like some women on only fans are you know ais but not even that these women that's not who they really are you're falling in love with a woman who's not really that a woman who's not really going to, you know, bend over and twerk for you because you gave her five dollars. A woman who's not going to twerk for you because you, you're, you became a sub. You know what I mean? This That's not real life. And men need to understand that they're falling in love with a per <laughs> I'm about to say a person. You're, you're falling in love with a persona. You're falling in love with something that's not real. That's not how she really thinks about you. She don't care about you. And I'm not knocking the girl, even though I, you know how I feel about that kind of stuff. My point is, is is you just gotta understand it's a drug you can't get enough of i know i know because if you go check it's not just the sexual content that gets men to look if you go check out some of the most popular videos the asmr videos are really popular the ones where the girls are uh being doing the girlfriend experience telling you you're cute uh the weird ones that are like uh the cute girl tells you you look good in uh uh your class or something or your crush finally says something to you and you know what's so crazy is those videos also have women who aren't even <laughs> those are the women who doll themselves up put themselves in the makeup and they don't even really look like that but still you're getting the women the, the most popular videos are women who are super attractive or at least they look attractive in the videos and they're telling you that hey babe they start doing uh uh what is the uh the big one um kisses they start telling you um they start doing the kisses they start telling you how good you look there's even popular ones where you're just getting a massage from a girl even though it doesn't make any sense <laughs> like you don't <laughs> it's like man men have gotten so lonely that women are becoming a drug like just anything if you go hop online right now if you just go hop on your instagram go hop on your twitter go hop on your twitch go hop on your kick stream there's a kick stream right now talking about make me a housewife i don't know that person I, I, but the point is is like anytime a girl puts herself out that like like make me a housewife make me 
if you want to date me you there's, there's a famous dating show on twitch where it's like shoot your shot it's like men you know you don't have no chance with this girl but y'all want to shoot y'all shot just to get her to talk to you it's the same thing that webcam girls used to do back in the day they're still webcam girls but that's what used to make webcam so popular it's because it, it felt like the girl was really there she was really giving you attention she was really making you feel special look at these videos how these girls are so close and doing the whole close and personal thing that's not real cuz cuz listen it's not real i'm sorry to tell you they don't really this is not really how life works the zooming in and the zooming out that's not how life works man it's, it's like it's like even as i watch it i have to understand it myself like even when you you know i'm, I'm a human being you know there's times i scroll down instagram and obviously a beautiful face is gonna make me stop that vegan food and calisthenics those are the three things that make me stop but you know what i'm saying it's gonna make you oh, oh what was that just make you take a quick glance and it's like what am i doing you know it's like it's really like watching food be made when they got the perfect camera angle the perfect music they got the perfect ingredients it's like but when you go to make the food it ain't nothing like that or you go out into the real world and you try to look at girls they're not pretty girls are not gonna look at you like this they're not gonna be in your face being like uh dancing to some song they're not gonna give you no time and also these women are normal people they're human beings so that means when they're out and about sometimes they may feel beautiful and when they're on camera on a TikTok, but in real life they walk around and they might feel ugly they might not like themselves they might be very insecure they might not actually want to talk to nobody they may be very mean in real life because they're going through real stuff they're going through real problems these six second snaps that we be seeing of people ain't the real life so that's what i'm saying like it's really like when you go to if you've ever smoked weed if you've ever smoked marijuana if you've ever done acid if you've ever done mushrooms i've done all those dude like it, it the only reason you fall so in love with it because it makes reality feel kind of broken you know that's why people get addicted to smoking that's why people get addicted to drinking that's why people get addicted to all these other drugs because it puts you in this world where it feels like your problems just go away and i think that's the same thing happens when we go to only fans when you get in that mood let's have a real conversation man i want to have a real conversation man when you get in the mood and you really want to go you know um we need to find a word that we can say for that but when you really want to go out there and just give it all up you know what i'm saying you just want to give it all up for those five six seven seconds <laughs> all right i'll give you more than that but when you're scrolling through the hub and you're scrolling through booty pics and all that kind of stuff and you you're just getting ready to go whack off pretty much right it doesn't it feel like a drug doesn't it feel like you can't stop yourself doesn't it feel like you can't quit scrolling doesn't it feel like you're looking for the perfect video the perfect high the perfect girl the perfect hair the perfect breast the perfect boobs right i mean perfect breast perfect uh breast perfect butt perfect lips you're looking for the exact video that you want the exact picture that's going to get you to that high that can make you finish and climax i know the feeling guys let's have a real talk about it it's a drug ain't it don't you feel like you can't stop sometimes don't you feel like man i'm kind of overboarding it you know i was listening to a youtuber the other day who like it felt like they couldn't help themselves from making sexual references even they even though they're making funny and they're trying to be entertainment at some point you when they when they say to themselves I'm like damn am i that thirsty dang it sorry uh dang i'm really thirsty right now i'm really i'm really going too far with this it's like can i not help myself and i you know what i think it's honest i think men who get on there and talk about women all the time um in a sexual matter i don't think they can help themselves like when i hear uh this is a really good youtuber i'm not gonna name him but he's a really he's, he's really good at what he does but anytime he gets on the internet and makes a video and it doesn't have to be about women but it normally comes back to oh i've seen a couple of her videos i've seen a couple of this and i got a long schlong and it's like dang does every video have to be some kind of sexual thing and i think that some people can't help it i really don't i really don't i really do think that some people can't help it because i feel like if it's on your mind all the time and you here's what here's what it is man there's a difference between freedom and relief and i think men sometimes they get a relief when they think that if they just give in if they just start talking sexual if they just start going after every girl they can get if they just start having sex on an incredible level if they just start watching you know i've done this before too where they just start watching the hub 24 7 they just they just give in and they think that that's actually going to make it easier for them no dog you're just relieving yourself from the discipline and the stuff that it does the discipline that it takes to not do this every single day to give in every single day to um 
end up spending your money in every single way spending your money on only fans spending your money on taking a girl out on dates spending your money on women who don't even <laughs> i've done this spending money on women who aren't even dating you you just want to be a nice guy right nice guy you pay for her dinner you pay for her to get new shoes you pay for her to get new clothes and <laughs> you just do it because here's the crux of the problem when it comes to drug use and I think this is where men get stuck. Yeah. Just like paying for the women, paying for OnlyFans, paying for the hub. You just want to feel needed. When a girl gets on the internet and she tells you, she calls you baby. When a girl gets on and calls you baby. When a girl gets on and says you're special. When a girl gets on and says, thank you for the sub. Thank you for following. Thank you for that donation. And if she shakes her butt for you or she shakes her breasts or something for you, blows you some kisses, it, it feels good. It feels good. I get it. You, you feel needed, dude. Like, I like to feel needed. I'll be lying to you. Like, when I want to take my wife shopping, I, I want to feel needed. Like, I want to feel, I, I like to make my wife feel good. I want her to have a good time. Does it work all the time? No. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing about marriage. But, um it feels good to be needed dog and i think men they're to this point where they don't want to date anymore they'll just take the women on the internet because i you know i'd rather feel needed by a girl on the internet who tells me she likes me even though i, I might know in the back 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 of my head ah she don't care about me but yeah, at least she said at least she read my dang comment man at least she read my comment at least she made me feel good you know oh this girl shaking her booty for me i mean it at least she's not calling me a creep. At least she's not saying I'm a weirdo. At least she's not saying I'm ugly. I'm fat. I'm sure it's, this girl's just shaking her body and she's not. It's like going to a strip club. It's like, at least this girl makes me feel good. Dang it. Because every time I go somewhere, I just get rejected. Every time I go somewhere, somebody's calling me this. This girl's calling me broke. She says I'm a bum. I don't make enough. I'm not tall enough. I don't do enough. And I'm just kind of sick of it. You know, I'm sick of I'm sick of watching all the other the uh the chads. I'm sick of watching the guys who are tall, the guys who are really muscular, beautiful. I'm tired of them getting all the girls. And if I just say hello, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo, I'm a freak. And I get that. So sometimes these women, when you get on the internet, it just makes you feel so needed. And you know what? That's something I don't talk about enough. And I need to start talking about it. I talk about men and how we are taking our lives at a very high rate now because we feel so useless. And I think, uh, man, when I talk, when I talk about how stupid it is to do OnlyFans and how dumb it is, please understand. Sometimes I say that for entertainment value, but being honest, I understand how hard it is like as dumb as people may make you feel and how stupid people may make you feel and i get sometimes tough love does work but at this time i do want to say i understand the pain that comes with getting rejected every day getting called names getting called this and just be making it feel like you're just not enough and uh i i, I just want to say this um i'm gonna be real with y'all you know you're gonna you're gonna have to find a way to love yourself as corny as that sounds listen I'm, I'm i'm sick of the i'm sick of the uh listen there is a thing to manhood and there's times to be tough there's times to get out there and go you know pick up a, a bell of hay and put it on your shoulders and just do some work and sweat a little there are definitely times for that but at the end of the day when you're no longer sweating you're not working out like we did earlier when you're not working out there's nothing going on you're not lifting any big weights you get home you get in your bed and you just when the lights go off man it's it's lonely dude because it's just you because when you're at home by yourself and nobody else is around there's nothing to, what what the f are you supposed to do to be manly like you can go look in the mirror and say get your f and self together but dang dude that that don't work after a while sometimes you look in the mirror you see a human being you don't see a man you see a human you see somebody who's hurt somebody who who wants somebody to come home to you you saw that song that i was playing earlier that girl you're my angel you're my guardian okay he talks about in that song it's like what yeah he says life is a big party when you're still young but who's gonna have your back when it's all done that's the truth like 
it's a lonely life, man. And I understand how men are getting so frustrated. It's hard to keep coming home to an empty bed. It's hard to keep coming home to nothing. It's hard to get up in the morning, go to your nine to five that women are telling you that is a, a, a joke. You're going to go work a dollar general to make the bit to, to do what you got to do. Even if you're in college and you're tr trying to make it, maybe you're 30 like me, you're trying, you're going to college and you're trying to do it all. And it's tough because people are already calling you. Oh, you, you're a loser. You're 30 working at dollar journal. You're 30 working at McDonald's. You're doing all this. It's like, well, I mean, I made some mistakes. People make mistakes in their twenties. And I think women don't understand it sometimes about men. Men, when we make mistakes in our 20s, when we get to our 30s, it, it, it comes crashing down. When women make mistakes in their 20s, you can probably find a man that might be willing to take care of you or at least get a man who's willing to date you. Because there's not, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But men, if you fail by the time you're 30, you can get a woman later in your life if you put get it together all i'm saying is by the time you start getting up there you've had to go through so many years of rejection while you were trying to figure it out you, you didn't have any other outlet now there are women who go through the same thing i'm not because i'm telling y'all every woman's not attractive okay there's women who go through the same thing men go through as far as rejection they try to get a guy and they can't but you know my point is it is hard man it's real lonely out here when you're trying to get it together and I understand the appeal of wanting to go and get yourself a girl or give all your money to an OnlyFans model or give all your money to a Twitch streamer. I know how stupid you feel too, man. I know how stupid it is to feel. I obviously OnlyFans um, came out not too low. 2016, I like that when it came out. I, I bought an OnlyFans back then, okay? I, I never paid money to a Twitch streamer because I never watched Twitch. I didn't watch live streams, but I, I paid my money to women. I paid for women I didn't know in real life. I've gave money to women who asked for it back then when I was single and alone. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I don't know if I wasn't married. Okay. If I wasn't married right now, man, I would feel lonely. Absolutely. freaking lonely. Now, I think I'd be able to get through it more. I don't think I would I would be lonely to the point where I'd be like, man, I got to get a girl. I don't know what I'm doing because I've been married. I kind of know what it feels like to have somebody around. And I also know I can be alone. But it's still freaking hard, man. I don't want to go to bed. Like, who are you going to have when something goes bad in your life? You lose your job. You, you, you know what I mean? Or something really bad happens. You know, just something, something you can't handle. Yes, you have friends, but it's nice to come home to somebody who's been there every day with you for the good times and the bad. And so I think that's why people go back to live streams on Twitch, Twitch streamer, because you know, if you ever go to Twitch and watch a YouTube, YouTube, if you ever go to Twitch and watch a Twitch streamer, especially the bikini model girls, because they have less viewers. So they can be a little bit more intimate than some girl who's just chatting and has a hundred thousand people in there. If you go to one of these small hot tub streamers who only have like 3000 people in there, dude, dude, you you watch go watch try and you don't have to don't fall in love with the girls but go watch the comments men will go get in there and pour their hearts out to these women on these hot tub streams they'll really get on there and said i had a bad day i'm having a hard day today I, I i don't know what i'm gonna do this happened my dog died um i just i just lost my cousin these men really pour themselves out to these hot hot tub women because that's all they got they they, they go home to nothing they may be just a fat guy like me, you know, who plays World of Warcraft or League of Legends or Dota. They just go home and they haven't figured it out. All they do is eat. I'm being honest. I'm laughing because I, I, I've i been through it, you know, and it's all you do. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look at my background. Y'all see what this is? That's a weight bench on the ground and some dumbbells, you know, I lost a hundred pounds and then. I got to a point in my life. I'm married and I still got lonely. I still, I, my anxiety was so bad. I was scared to hop on stream. I was having so many panic attacks. I felt like my life was nothing. I've had a panic attack a long time, but I still have anxiety every now and then. I still think about death. I can't imagine what it'd be like to think about all this stuff. And there's nobody here in this house. When I click off this camera, it's just me. And I got to go to bed with the lights off. It's just me. And I'm sitting here thinking about, man, is anybody going to even care? 
you know and that's when i just like you know man it's a sad life it's just a sad life oops You know, it's just a sad life to continue to, um, here we go. It's just a sad life to keep coming home. Don't worry about it. Uh, you name? Oh, I gotta make this zoom in. I can't see. What is the name? Levine James? Levine de Dev. It's all good, man. People come in. That's, that's, trolls will always happen. But the point is, man, you go home. I'm really thinking about it now. These men, I was making fun of them the other day, like last week, I think. I was kind of making fun of these men for pouring their hearts out to this girl who doesn't care about them. And I think some women care about some of the men they talk to, but I still can't condone them putting their bodies online like they do. You know what I mean? Um, but maybe these... Let's have a real conversation right quick. I'm going to continue on with the topic, but maybe these women feel lonely. Hmm. I'm sure they do. And maybe, maybe I think we all go about loneliness in a different way. I think women, I think men, we're not going to put ourselves online like that because we can, you know what I mean? Even if we get good shape, I mean, it's, it's not worth it, but men give money to women and they give all their time to women they pour themselves out to women that feel needed and i think sometimes women they get in these twist strings and these youtube strings to feel like they're needed you know to get that validation even though they're sad in their life and they're maybe not having a great day and they're they're doing terrible they may get on a hot tub stream show a little skin and just have men talk about them and how great they are because i think some women also think that they can't get on camera like i do they can't get on camera with regular clothes on and anybody's going to even care what the f they got to say. Like some women, they might just be like, you know what? I'll get on camera in a bikini and the men will talk to me. Even if I don't want to be in a bikini right now. I think that's why some hot tub streamers, they don't even move. They just get up every now and then to do squats. But I think that's why they do squats and stuff. It's like the least thing they can do. But also they can have somebody to talk to, somebody to really tell them how beautiful they look, even though they may feel disgusting. I might have to start giving these women a little bit more slack. I, I still won't condone it. Just like I don't condone men looking at the hub. So I'm not saying because it's, it's still it's still sex trafficking. And I, I, I got to say it. But, you know, some of these women, I'm not saying all, but some of the women who who are and I, we we don't know who which women those are. But there's some women who probably get on and they just want to feel special and they just want somebody to say something to them. Maybe they're really insecure and that's fair. But we have to go about it different ways. Men, you feeling lonely is not a reason to go to the hub and go look at that evil site. But it's also not a reason to go to Twitch and hot tub stream and um, uh, go to a hot tub stream and just give your money to a girl you know doesn't care about you. You know what I mean? The only solution I can give you, and this is when I was, when I was single and I had nothing going on. <sighs> work out. If you don't want to work out, cool. Just get one buddy, dude. Get a couple guy friends and be real. I don't mean get some guy friends and just goof around and drink. No, you, you know what? You can get around and have a few brewskis. Don't get drunk. But you can get some buzz if you can go around and get, have a few brewskis. And if you don't drink, have a few bottles of water. Get you some men that you just go over their house. Like, I think, men, we need to start having relationships where it's like we can be honest with each other. Like, as a man, I can come to your house and just be like, hey, man, you want to chill? And what, when I say, do you want to chill? That means I can use a friend right now. Like, I, I, I would like to just be hanging out with somebody and talk some shit out. Because you men, have you ever been with your friend? And y'all just sit down and just, you, it'll be a guy you haven't seen in five years. And y'all sit down and have a conversation. And it feels like you just pour your whole heart out. That's what we need. 
you gotta have to go get a guy friend that you really can trust i mean i'm not talking about do stupid stuff with or anything like that a real man who you can sit down and have a real conversation with be like hey dude look i'm thinking about taking my life that i know i just got deep but that's real men are men are taking their lives at an extremely high rate and young girls are taking their lives at an extremely high rate it's because you know, we don't have nobody to talk to so you need to have somebody you can sit down with and be like hey look i don't know if i can go on man this my there's no women want me um I, i'm trying to do the best of my job but i hate it i'm trying to get back to college but i don't make enough money to get back to college i'm kind of struggling with the bills but I'm struggling with the bills because I can't get a job that pays me enough. And I, because I made some mistakes, I can't get into college on no scholarships or anything. And it's just a struggle. You're stuck in a fucking hard place. You know what I mean? Some people just say, just pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Sometimes this is why I tell you guys, it's not, not everybody's going to make six figures and not everybody's going to be a millionaire and not everybody's going to succeed on YouTube. No, but not everybody's going to blow up on a TikTok. Some people, they're not going to make enough money to go to college and they can't get any loans or anything like that because they may have bad credit or they made some mistakes back in the day. They don't have a high enough whatever. So they can't get into college. They don't have enough money to do that or they work so much to just to afford the bills. They don't really have time to go to college. And if they did, it's going to take them five years. And that's the thing. It takes them five years to get a degree. And then people will be like, okay, well, if it takes you five years, go get those two year degree. It'll, it'll pay off. But in the midst of getting that two year degree and it taking them five years, guess what's happening in within that five years, people are calling them a bum people. You're seeing videos that make you don't feel like you have enough money. You're still driving that Honda, that 1994 Honda Civic. That's hard to get back and forth, but you can't afford a new car within those five years nobody's you have nobody to talk to right you're just in a you're just in a one horse town it's just you every day in a bottle of whiskey in those five years people don't understand how long five years can really be when you're inside your head every day when you hate going i can tell you guys one of the there's a few things that i hate doing in my life one of the things i hate more than anything is going to sleep i used to love going to sleep but i get so anxious so scared that i won't wake up and I know more people are starting to deal with that. So imagine for five years, every day, you're scared to just go to dang bed. You're scared to wake up. You, you don't want to go to work because you already feel like a loser and you still got five years left. Ain't no effing motivational video from David Goggins going to be enough. It ain't going to be enough. You got to have to have some friends. Life is about relationships at the end of the day. It really is. Life is not about making money. Life is not about becoming rich. Life is not about getting all these things in life and going on freaking vacations. Life is about relationships, your relationship with God, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your friends, your relationship with your family and your relationship with your children. That's really all that really comes down to. And I want to say this. Not everybody's going to get married. Some people are going to be single the rest of their lives and some people can come to that. You know what I mean? And that's something we all have to come to. I was coming to that conclusion. I was thinking I was going to be single the rest of my life. It's something you kind of have to start to accept, but I can, I only did that because I hung out with a group of men and I was like, I can get by, I can get by. I can have male friends. I can have father figures in my life. I have my own father and I'll make it through. That's what you got to do. Cause man, if you keep going this route of women and keep using these women as a drug to get by, you know what happens? you'll die you'll die an addict you know how you'll die it won't be the old natural way like a drug where it just eventually takes you out what happens man is you get so down living in this fantasy really thinking that it's real and then one day you're gonna wake up and realize how fake it really is and guess what happens i say this all the time and i don't mean to be too graphic when i say this but you're gonna go into your room you're gonna lock the door i know this feeling i remember it like it was yesterday going into my room sitting down in the dark and hoping to die that's what some men do they go to their room they lock the door they turn off the lights they grab the glock and they end it they don't want to keep going man it's hard Life is hard. 
Everybody talks about how easy it is in America. Yes, it is easy. We have easy lives. That's what makes the mental part so effing hard. It's one thing when you wake up and you're piss poor. It is hard, but you're piss poor. You have a actual reason to be sad, but it's much harder sometimes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say much harder, but it's sometimes even harder. Like it's like when you see somebody who's really wealthy and they still take their lives because you realize at the end of the day, like, man, I was sad because I was poor. And then when you're no longer poor and you're making some money, you realize, dang, I'm actually sad because I hate myself. I got all this money. I got a beautiful wife. I got kids and I still don't know how to keep going. I still don't know if I love myself. That's when it gets tough. That's when it becomes hard to be. I'm going to say something. If you've ever heard about this in the Beatitudes, I read about this the other day. You know, when it says blessed are the poor in spirit, right? It's, there was a guy who was saying it's a lot easier to be spiritually mature, mature or mature, however y'all say it. It's a lot easier to be spiritually mature when you're broke, when you're poor, because you know, life is already tough, but you know, you can get some kind of happiness without money, right? It's the people who have money. It's the people who have success. It's the people who are living a good life and they realize this still ain't enough. That's when the mental health starts to catch up to you. That's when you're like, dang, I wish I had somebody here with me. And then when you do get somebody you're like, dang, it's not as good as I thought it was. Huh? I still kind of hate myself. I still kind of want to give up on life. That's when it gets tough, man. That's why mental health keeps growing over here in America because we got it all. So we find stuff to be upset about now. That's, I know that sounds stupid and blah, 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 left, right. But it's true. We want to be sad because it's like we want to find a reason to be upset because it's like, how do I have it all? But I'm still depressed. How do I have it all? but I still want to die every day. How do I have all of this beautiful stuff in my life? And I still don't even have no purpose in this life. Does God love me? Do I, do I love myself? Why did my wife cheat? Why did I lose my son? Like you still realize all this stuff and you realize all this stuff around you doesn't do anything. So you have to go out there and find a real purpose, man. This is mine. You know, I don't, I don't mind going to work, but when I'm off work and I'm done with homework, I love doing this. I love talking to you guys and giving you my heart. Like when I teach y'all lessons and stuff like that, I don't, I don't do it because I think I'm a great teacher. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, this isn't false humility either. I know I'm good at speaking. I know I'm good at giving lessons. I know I'm good at talking my heart out, but that's all I'm really doing. I, I know I'm gifted in that area. I know that I'm not gifted as others and some is not as gifted as me. Understandable. But I also am just being honest. Like what you see is what you're getting from me. I'll tell you guys about my panic attacks. I'll tell you guys about being broke. I'll tell you guys about how, how fat I was and how fat I still am. I'll tell you guys how hard it is sometimes for me to work out. I'll tell you guys um, how sad I can be. I, I'll be honest with you guys. That's all I'm doing. And I do it because somebody needs it, dude. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired of joking around about girls and big booties dude like it's fun to talk about but it's really a sick drug man it's, it's really a sick drug it's really it can really become sex can not not women but sex sex within itself like the sexual nature like the giving your body up every day the all that stuff it becomes kind of demonic and it be kind of starts to destroy you after a while like it's as funny as it is like watching a girl twerk as much as we can laugh about that like after you start making it a drug and an addiction it starts to ruin your life because you can't stop you can't stop getting on the internet you can't have a regular relationship with any woman you can't help yourself but go home every night and just whack off you can't like stop yourself and it's like you get to the point where you either have to accept it and laugh about it every single day or you have to accept it and be like dang my life is really effed up and most people choose the other side where they they decide to see like this guy maybe he really does that i don't know but like i said we we have to make a joke about it right it's to this point where we really have to joke around like man i, I really can't help myself and I have no, I have no choice, but to joke about it, because when you really talk to men who don't do this anymore, including myself, masturbating every single day, it, it, it gets old. I mean, even in your brain, you know how that works. It like 
you don't feel cool like how do you feel cool about that you know what i mean you don't feel like oh man i'm really succeeding in life i'm really um i'm really masturbating to a girl on my screen who i don't know what's going on here's the sad thing and this is when it gets real maybe y'all don't want to listen to this but when you're going home and masturbating to the hub every day and you know some of these women are underage because Pornhub is in trouble about that right now you know some of these women are underage there's a lot there's a lot of women who have come out go just read your news there's a lot of people who've come out and talk about how sex trafficking is he is huge in porn porn is the third biggest contributor to sex trafficking so you know a lot of the people men and women they're getting forced to do this stuff even when you get on only fans there's women who have come out and say that they weren't in the only fans they got traffic it was sex trafficking they were only doing only fans because they got sex trafficking into it they got took off the streets they got told they were going to be doing a modeling gig and now here they are spreading their legs and all we can do is just talk about it and whack off to it like it's it's so it's so it's so it's so evil because you're really sitting and jacking off to women you know who may be being forced against themselves they're literally being abused and you don't care that's what the problem is with masturbating every day it desensitizes you it dehumanizes you it gets you to the point where you think choking a girl is cool you think watching a girl scream in pain is cool you think it's great to watch a girl cry you think it's cool to see this stuff i'm not stupid i've talked to enough men to know how this goes i was in it and i know the same men who say how dark it gets porn only gets darker and darker and so the more women and the more stuff you give in the more you give into this drug just like when you give into heroin or cocaine it will ruin your life because once you finally open your eyes and realize damn dang i really don't care about these women as long as she's pretty and she can split her legs i don't care if she's being forced i don't care go look at the comments if you're on the hub go look at the comments you'll see men being like dang what did i just watch Oh my gosh i can't believe i just watched that because it's a drug you're in a state of being horny that you can't help yourself that you will go look at the most sick disgusting things and you can't help yourself and all we do now is joke about it we can't even talk to each other anymore without having to say pause we can't do anything men we're a disgrace now there's men out there we're getting men and this is me saying it's not a love man and i'm talking to myself we become a disgrace we are just sex animals just running around we have no ambition anymore most men don't want to do anything all they do is go home and jack off every night and then they go to the job i don't care what job i don't care about that that doesn't make you successful or not successful but it's the fact that it's all we care about and then we joke with each other about jacking off all the time we, we joke with each other and we don't care we don't care what's happening to these women that these women are dying these women are taking their lives these women are being abused the men are being abused these men are taking their lives these little boys and girls are getting taken off the streets and getting told oh this is just a barely teen nobody cares men have become absolute disgrace we used to protect our men our women and children we used to protect each other we don't even care anymore they the media has won men over right now the only thing us men talk about is how many how many women we can get and how how much that makes other women want us now we become red pilled right or it's like oh we just want to get as many women as we can and if we can do that we're alphas that that's it that's all we got and then what happens after that doofus i'm not i'm not calling y'all doofus I'm, I'm talking to myself what happens after that what happens after you get all these money and all these women that you can have sex with what happens after that nothing it's not it's, it's not fulfilling when you think about women are just just something to have sex with you, you don't even care you don't even care you don't care if these women live or die you don't i want you to really think about it. do you care because if a, if a person you're watching on the hub when you go home tonight and you go whack off to her do you care if she lives or dies if she was to die right now would you care what was the last thing you think about her man she was super hot and then she just committed she just took her life and you'll never know all these women go unheard of and these women who get abused in these videos y'all don't care because they disappear or they get beat to death or something or they if they disappear and try to go live a normal life you don't care and what happens to these women the second they finally escape from the porn industry 
a video gets leaked, a picture gets leaked and their lives are ruined again. And who is the one and who cares? The men and women who leak these videos Oh, like, look at dude, look how hot she is. This girl is trying to live her life as a mother now. And you're over here like, man, I just whacked off to her last night. She's so hot. It's just like, damn, you don't care about nobody. I'm sorry, man. I know this got a little deeper than it should have, but we're a disgrace now. But this can all change. This can all change, man. If you just take, I'm not asking you to stop looking at porn tonight because I know how impossible that is. I'm not asking you to quit masturbating. All I'm asking you to just, just take a look at one second, look the girl in the eye and be like, hmm. I wonder, I, I really wonder if there's more to her than just this. All these, and I'll say this last thing, I'll shut up. All these women I see, even on Kai, I was watching Kai Sente. I don't watch his live streams, but I watch his YouTube videos. And when they were talking, when they were talking to him and NLE Chopper, were talking about that porn model, right? And that girl was sitting in the back talking about she makes videos. Like these men were actually um, proud of these women for being porn stars. It's like, that's how little men think of women now. Like, instead of being like, oh, you do porn? Um, do you feel like you have to do that? Do you mean, you know, you, you, do you, is there anything else you want to do in life? NLE's got money. He could easily be like, you know, if, I mean, if you need a couple bucks just to get out of this industry, I'm not saying he should. He can do whatever he wants with his money. But I'm saying not, he didn't even go to that. And NLE, NLE Choppa, he... He's not as bad as people make him seem because his music, I don't think that really reflects who he is, but he gets caught up in the life just like all these other young men. They get caught up and they really don't care. They're like, oh, she's a porn star. Wow. That means she does things. That means she can do things that a regular woman can't. It's just like, damn, that's all you think about. That's all you think about. Can you just look at these women for once and just be like, man, she does porn. I mean, that must be a devastating life. A life that she probably didn't know she can get out of. She's probably stuck. But nope. I applaud it. And I, I, I'm i not a man who can just go into a strip club. It'd probably be tough for me being a, a recovering addict. But I applaud the men and women who can go into strip clubs or really talk to these porn stars and really have conversations with them and look past all that. And be like, hey, you know what? I, I love you. I care about you. I mean, is there anything we can do to get you out of this life? Because it's, it's demeaning. Because if you go talk to a lot of these women, and I've talked to, I've talked to strippers, not really in strip clubs, but I've talked to strippers. And when I talk to them and ask them, why the F are they in this life? I don't say that, but I ask them like, well, why do you do this? Some of them are like, I'm just trying to provide for my kid. Some of them might say, I'm just trying to go to school and I don't know how else to make money. It's, it's like, dang, like, do you really think that every stripper and every porn star wants to do it just because they love having sex? That's crazy to me. But that's all you think about the porn world, the media, Instagram, Twitch. Everything has got y'all really, truly believing that women love this life. They don't. They don't. I don't. They don't. And I'm just hoping we get to a point in our lives where. We can start. We need to. If we can just get back to a point in our lives where we, we can start loving women again. And loving men again. You know, it's just. Women do the same thing. Women just talk about men and how big their things are. And they make music about it all the time now and just how much sex they can get and all that and how good of head they can give. And, and men, they just. They, we, we, it's so sad. We don't even care about each other anymore. We really, it's like we kind of hate each other. We, we argue every day about, should I go half on the bill? We argue every day about, should you want a six figure man? Like, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so effing tired of those conversations. It's like, when we go start having a conversation of, Man, do you actually love women or do you even care? Why are we having this conversation about, oh, well, women ain't ish. They always want somebody who's six figure. I, listen, I understand we can have that conversation, 
we can have them but the only solution to that i've ever heard now is that if a woman wants a six-figure man and she can't get him and she has to and she uh, she can't get him she'll just die alone right and we just leave her out there on the streets you know what i mean All right, I'm gonna look at the comments, but I'm exhausted. Y'all know I've made so many videos on, I've done so many live streams on this and I've done a lot of YouTube videos, <sighs> but not until this last year have I actually cared this much. I used, I've always taught men about the, 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 the dangers of falling into the fantasy. But what I haven't taught, and I'm mad at myself now that I'm really thinking about it, I haven't taught about loving women. I always, when I used to teach men about getting away from the fantasy of pornography and the fantasy of OnlyFans and all that, I, I would always, I never really brought up loving these women. I just told them how evil in all it is. And I think, that, like I said, the, the nature of it is evil. But at the same time, some of these I mean, these women are human and I just kind of, I skipped the love part. I got to do better. All right, let me read the comments, but, uh, women can be a drug. Be careful. But women can be human too. So be careful. Okay. Peace.